trying to think of the rectangle. Let's take a picture with the Sony. I, I, that's enough B-roll. But this is probably gonna be a... Yeah, let's just take some on this. Morning. You too. So the first thing I do when I get to the studio in the morning pretty much is turn on this AC in the podcast room because it's so gosh darn hot and then pretty much I just like do emails and edit but we're gonna do the day in the life we got an action-packed day and um, yeah it starts with emails and editing I always try to edit in the morning for like 40 minutes get ahead of the curb so here are some packages I got while I was over and vacation so we're gonna open a couple of these all right, got a box cutter. This one I know is awesome. There's a new tripod for the tripod. A new tripod for the podcast studio. A super beefy one. I don't even know. Wow. Oh, these are step up, step down rings for camera equipment, for lenses. Got some film, Portra 400. Film is super expensive still, which stinks. Oh, this is uh, Fuji film for um, Polaroids for people on the podcast. Again, it's cheaper to get it online. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh my gosh, I can't show this. <laughs> this is for a project I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I can't show this. This is so scary. Wow. This, few things in one, wow, okay. A big curtain, because I'm gonna be adjusting the podcast studio, customizing it a little more. This is a speaker for the computer editing rig, because there's no good speakers on the monitor. Stopwatch, oh, these are super essential. 90 gallon trash bags, humongous trash bags. Studio maintenance, there's actually a super awesome bigger box down in the lobby. This is a hydraulic desk and chair. Hydraulic desk and chair to stand. Flexi spot is the best. Whoa. All right, let's do a quick time lapse of setting this up and then I'll show you how awesome these products are. So this took actually way less time than I thought to set up and look at how crazy this is. I was not expecting to get this. Um, flexi spot reached out to me when they saw that I was building a studio and asked if I wanted like a hydraulic standing desk Which strangely I actually really did because you know the inside office of the podcast is like a separate room And that's where Chris works But you know to have a really awesome nice desk to send emails I was just looking for a table so it worked out and they sent me this which I was not expecting but it's equally awesome This is the sit to go fitness bike, which is pretty hilarious you know, I don't think I could paint while doing this, but you know, I'm a super sedentary artist, so this is actually extremely useful to, you know, use while um, sending emails and stuff. But it's really high quality, it's really nice. Like, I'm actually shocked how quick it's set up um, and how awesome this hydraulic desk is. I've never had a standing desk, but I could totally see myself using it quite a bit. So if you go to the description, you can check it out. This is the standing hydraulic desk, the sit to go um, bike. And it's really great, so thanks, Flexi Spot. Go check them out. Hey, yeah, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> There's nothing bad. Unique going on. New York. All right, so Chris is right on time. Oh my God, I'm here. He usually comes for podcast days, but why are you here? What are we doing? Editing the podcast, shooting some stuff. We're going. Um, yeah, yeah. What yeah. else do you do? Want to give a brief description of I your role? Make the podcast. I edit other shit that you need. I mean, that's it, right? Yeah. I film. He's also a strategist. 
I guess. A yeah. social media mogul. Yeah. And a really nice guy. Oh, wow. Golly, you sure do make me blow. But yeah, Chris is here like sporadically. You know, the podcast is every week. He's here to prep and help out with the podcast. But then also, whenever I need him, other things we're doing, he comes in. So there's no real schedule, but he does other stuff. He works for other podcasts and his own production company. But he's a huge asset. No smiling. Get back to work. <laughs> he's just like yeah. leaning at the door. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's about noon, and um, Kipto's here for a couple days, yep. and so we're going to do a podcast real quick, which we do about once a week. Today happens to be a nice podcast day, so let's go to the studio and rip one out. Want to record that? No, it's fine. We ended it perfect. It was also a perfect hour, sh- hour shot, hour and 20 minutes. Hey. Yeah, baby. Hey. Yeah. My friend, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. cheers. Thanks cheers. for having me, dog. Yeah, thanks for coming. School, I kind of know about you because I'm a super fan, but mm-hmm. for the populace, can you just run through like the formative years of becoming an artist and uh, sure, gaining yeah. your skills? Uh, I mean, I've always been an artist. I've always been that art kid. Today is quite a busy day. We got a lot... We finished the podcast with Kipto. He's going to be doing something else while I live stream. I live stream every week on Patreon. Here is the setup. It's a little janky, but it works. We're going to be recording. Um, We're going to be drawing this uh, Minotaur to kind of prepare for this project upcoming. Um, I'm really excited. So let's get streaming. minutes just a quick little master sketch to prepare for a project really excited I'm pretty happy about that I actually might work on that further but we're done streaming today artists come and go Kipto is the newest artist to kind of visit the studio we do the podcast we're also working on some paintings I'll kind of flash them real quick but this is gonna be a video in the future that's gonna come out so this is stuff we do behind the scenes preparing he's painting me I'm painting him kind of crazy that was the flash sneak peek um, but you know, that's kind of it for painting and drawing. Today, it's mostly back to the computer to edit some more. It's 10.15 at night. I'm still here. Kipto and I were painting some more in the late afternoon. We got some dinner. And I'm just editing more and cleaning this palette that Kipto used for for an oil painting he did of me, which is epic. Um, And cleaning some brushes. You gotta gotta take care of your brushes, your oil painting brushes. Treat them like children. You gotta get in there. But this is how it goes, kind of, you know. Today was extra action packed. Some days are even more hectic. Um, And some days are way more mellow where it's just me for like three days straight painting and editing. And so yeah, that's usually how, certainly how nights and days end is me editing for as long as I can possibly sit here. I'm actually working on uh, this video as we speak. It's really awesome if I can film a video and edit the same day. You just want to stay on top of it. And that's kind of like what people don't get is that like, yes, I paint a lot and that takes a lot of time, but you know, editing and managing the social media, which is the catalyst for, you know, revenue to maintain everything I do. It's like the most important and time consuming thing. So I'm easily behind the computer more than I am behind the easel, but that's just how she goes. And so this was just like a normal day. Like I said, hopefully it was insightful. This is just my life and how I do, you know, moving here to this studio and taking on all these huge new ventures with the podcast and this big resource, hiring Chris, who's amazing. But, you know, it's, you know, you're always going to work the most when you start a small business. So 12, 15 hour days, which, you know, I'm rocking right now is every day. And it's great. And a lot of the work is really fun and I enjoy it. And a lot of the work is just normal work, like editing videos. But you know, I, a lot of other friends come 
buy, you know, other people use the equipment and photo studio and people just come hang out. So there's every day is different, which I really like. And so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed lots of craziness. I say that like at the end of every video because I'm so tired and don't know what to say, but so many epic projects and events. I'm going to be throwing some events here. So if you watch the end of this video, comment slew the event planner. So I know you watched till the end, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.